Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And my microphone's in a weird spot. I need to adjust that. I was completely using it earlier for the client. Anyways, I am here at Sorgatron, as I already said that. But anyways, with us uh, from Pooh, Kipsy, New York. He is the only Mayhemmer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. It is Mad Mike. Did you say WWE? We, we. Oh, I, 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 man, Mike, I have a new moniker this week. Ooh, what's that? Is the, it a big dog? <laughs> the I am the only Mayhemer to have been in a steel cage match. Hmm. Hold on. Yeah. I'm thinking. You're thinking. You didn't see this on Twitter, did you? No, no, I, I saw it. I saw it. I'm, I'm trying to think if there's anyone else. I checked. I checked with the one. Okay. All right. Okay. Excellent. Yep. There you go. There you go. I filmed oh. a cage match from inside the cage match this past Saturday at IWC. So I can that that's now that can be part of my introduction now. So, so I, I got a cool got one Tim now. Whited. I got what? You almost got Tim Whited. Um I could have gotten Tim Whited for sure. I also could have been caught on fire. So there was that too. Um, but anyways, so this is where we talk about Monday Night Raw, not so much about indie wrestling. We have other shows for that. I'm sorry, Mike, what? Do we have to talk about Raw? Yes, we do. That is the mandate of this show, Mad Mike. All right, all right, I guess. So, let, I mean, let's let's get into it. Mike, uh-huh. what did you love about Raw tonight? Oh, uh, Love? Love. Appreciate. Yep. For and Renee Young on commentary. May Young on commentary. There was well, a great I, tweet. I said, I said Renee Young, not not May Young. Renee, uh, Mike, I think there's a little bit of Skype thing going on when we talk at the same time because you get a little funky too, and I think you're missing some of the things I'm saying. Okay, because it sounded like you said May Young on commentary. Oh, well, let me would've... let me move this mic closer. There we go. That you should hear me a little better now. I was trying to keep okay. it out of the shot. Yeah, uh, it, it's not like you said May Young. That would have been quite remarkable for. That would have been great. Uh, there was a point where I think Matt Matt Carlin's may have tweeted that uh, it looks like two uh, a hip couple brought their dad to a wrestling show when you looked at commentary. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious, you guys' thoughts out there, Brandon, Alex, um, and Tina. And Dave out there in the chat room right now, hanging out. Uh, what you thought of the commentary tonight? Uh, somebody, somebody, uh, so, so I saw said uh, they they couldn't handle, didn't think they could handle the, an entirely competent uh, um, team for the night. Um, well, we had that when David Otunga was on. So that is true. That is true. But I mean, how were you with the commentary tonight, Mike? I know you've been a stickler for it lately. I I coach never come back. <laughs> Keep the nay nay. Keep the nene in the raw. Keep the nene, bye bye to Kochi. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You no, know you can do, you can go to the fucking kickoff. That's what you can do. What? Coach can go to the kickoff. I don't know what that means. The, the SummerSlam kickoff. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, pre show coach. I'm okay with that. Fine. Mm -hmm. you, you, you do you, boo. <laughs> But let's keep Nene on main commentary. Can we talk about Raw? Can we talk about Gargano versus Champa? Says Alex, uh, because oh. Raw was pushing it tonight. Oh, I want! I'm so excited for Saturday Sorg. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still four episodes behind on NXT. I'm getting there. I'm actually, I'm like three and a half episodes behind. Oh man, Sorg! Oh man, Takeover! Yes. Takeover is going to be real good. I love the I love the commercial they were running. That was like the main the high points of the last three. And it's like, oh, these are all the guys we're watching, you know, now, you know, mm -hmm. on, on Monday. You know, and it's kind of, it gets a little sad when you get to the three one. But anyways, um, <laughs> you know, it, it, uh, it, it it's kind of an interesting look at something like that. But anyways, uh, from Raw tonight, um, um, we had a lot of going on with the women. We started off with the women. We started off with Ronda Rousey. I, I came in partly through her speech, which she, she talked a little bit about Anvil and then got into it. 
Um, I I love Alexa Bliss calling out her mean face. Well, Ronda Rousey only has two faces. That's right. I mean, she's working on them. She has the lion face and the lemon face. She's an actor. She's in a movie with Mark Wahlberg. That doesn't necessarily mean you're an actor. That, um, okay. Okay. That doesn't necessarily mean you're an actor. She was also in the Entourage movie. Let's not get it twisted. Oh. <laughs> okay. For context. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who, Which also had Mark Wahlberg in it. Oh. Oh, I'm starting to see a trend here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but it, it really, it, it's really unfortunate what happened to um, Jim Neidhart because I'm sure that changed a lot of plans that were supposed to happen tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, it it kind of, like, I, I get, like, the, the tribute video they did later in the night was much better. Um Having Rhonda comment on the anvil, though, is kind of off-putting. It's kind of off-putting for me. Um, the transition from there, there was twice tonight between that and there was a transition later where they were talking about the anvil and transitioned into SummerSlam by mentioning a match the Hart Foundation had at SummerSlam. It yeah. seemed awkward. Hey, this well, guy I- died, and we're going to promote this thing. There's never a good way to transition out of that. It's not a unless good unless you're Unless you're going to a commercial break. Yeah, I mean, just a flat, just a flat, and also coming up, you know, or go to commercial. Yeah, commercial break. You need you need some time to cool off from something like that. So I, I thought that was a little rough. Um, yeah. Dave saying that he generally enjoyed, but could have skipped the Heyman st- uh, segment. Oh, the Heyman God. segment's amazing until I thought we were going to get a blindfold match at SummerSlam. The Heyman segment's amazing until you realize, oh, we're just taking any intrigue out of the main event at SummerSlam now. Mm-hmm. We're just taking any intrigue out of it at all. Yeah, yeah. Put Paul back with him. I, I, that's just that was interesting for two weeks. It it was it was character development for Brock Lesnar. Mm-hmm. Now it's just nothing. Mm-hmm. Didn't even it happen. Was, it was character development for Paul Heyman, and now it's just nothing. We're right back where we were. Like, uh, like we couldn't even have done this at SummerSlam. Yeah, at least push why, it to there. Why don't we do this at SummerSlam? And then Roman fights through the pain of getting Mace in the face and hits a spear. Like, uh, Tina, Tina's saying you had to see this coming, though. No, no, I didn't. Oh, I actually didn't. No, I, I was going, all, again, going along for the ride, right? Fair. We should have. Because it seemed way too creative. Mm-hmm. We should have, because it seemed like it would involve something to do with writing. Alex says people are walking out on that main event. I don't know about that. Yeah, I think they are. Yeah? I think they are. And, um, I, I, Sorg, I have another question um, about about the, the Brock, Heyman, Roman segment. Where the fuck was Braun? This is true. This is true. <laughs> The second time, mm-hmm. there isn't. Any, where the fuck is he? Too busy playing Looney Tunes with Kevin Owens, I guess. I like this. Just makes Braun look like a bigger idiot. Mm-hmm. If, if Kevin Owens had stolen the briefcase, that's your out. That's your out. If Kevin Owens had stolen the briefcase, so the, it's like it's sorry. that's your out. That way, Braun doesn't have to carry it with him. You don't have to show it on TV. You remind us that he is the Money in the Bank contract holder, mm-hmm. but he doesn't have it with him because Kevin Owens stole it. Mm-hmm. That's no. That I it took me two seconds to come up with that. Just, just the fact that they're like in a battle over the Money in the Bank briefcase and having a match means it takes it out of play for the storyline thinking. I think. Yeah, uh, and it's, it's not like it's not like they've said that Braun can't cash it in before SummerSlam. No, if they said that. That's also an out. In fact, they've said the exact opposite. <laughs> they've said Braun can catch it in because it's still his. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it it just bothers me how much our intelligence is insulted if you think for even a nanosecond about what's going on on TV. Um, speaking of things that I'm sure you're pleased about, uh, Dean Ambrose came back. Um, yeah. And as uh, comments in the chat room are saying, that uh uh is it blake saying is it is it me or is dean ambrose swole 
Uh, he's definitely got a new hairstyle. Um, and we had a mini Triple H in the main event segment. Says, says yeah, Jimmy. he looks like Motorhead Triple H mm -hmm. from ears down and COO Triple H from the ears up. <laughs> oh, so he's like a creator wrestler. I mean, Dean Ambrose has always kind of been a creator wrestler. Yeah, I get, I got you, I got you with that. Scraggly uh, hair, leather jacket, weird moves. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's a creator wrestler. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Weird moves that doesn't look like a character like that should actually do. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, this is. Why, why couldn't we have? Sorg, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Why? Why do all contracts have to be signed on television? Where's the contract signing for the revivals match with the B team at, on the kickoff? I'm with you. I think it's on the bus. Um, I think they do that. I think they do that on uh, on on road road trip or the show. Yeah, I can like, never remember. Why, why does Seth Rollins not being in the arena automatically mean the match is null and void? He can just hit up the studio on Tuesday and sign it. That's right. Like he he can he can sign it on the kickoff show if it has to be on television. Yep. Sign it on the kickoff. He can sign it at TakeOver. Show's called TakeOver, right? He can take over TakeOver. He 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 said that once. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, when he when he interrupted in TakeOver before his match with Triple oh, H. Oh, the Triple H thing. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I may have seen that recently. You, and, you, you, oh, go ahead. Yeah. No, no, no. But, like, wh why, why does the contract have to be signed on television? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well. What what uh you mentioned them just a little bit ago um but uh, what do you think of the tag team division situation we had a we had a three way match we had math I really wish there was a comment uh -huh. uh, a comment that uh, Bo you should ask your father to help you with that math problem I wish there was a even better comment saying I I DM Scott Steiner and he helped me out with this math ah uh, yes yes exactly because that was Scott Steiner math mm -hmm. that was Scott Steiner math. Yeah, he worked it out and everything. Exactly, showed his work. Mm -hmm. That was, and that wasn't any of that new math bullshit either. No, it wasn't. Fuck new math. <laughs> um, what else happened tonight, sir? Um, yeah, I, I thought the tag team thing was good. The match was fun. Mm -hmm. Um, I it's interesting that we're getting a rematch right away on the kickoff. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel bad for whatever match on, is on the kickoff first, because that's gonna be big when it has. It'll probably be Cien Almas again. And, and it, it, that's such a shame. Mm -hmm. it's such Because that's a good feud. That is a good feud. Like, SmackDown's been killing it with actual feuds that make sense. SmackDown's been killing it when it comes to that. And if it's Rusev and Lana versus Almas and Zelina first on the kickoff, that's a shame. Have they been working up to that? I'm not up on SmackDown. Yeah. yeah I'm like, oh. oh, yeah. Lana and Lena have had a couple singles matches. Uh, Rusev and Almas had a singles match. Hmm. Oh. I'll try to fit that in tomorrow. Yeah, it's it's good stuff. And, like, why can't Baron Corbin and Finn Balor be on the kickoff? I'm sorry. There's no juice. There's no juice there. Like, Corbin beat him clean on Raw a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Clean. It wasn't even like he cheated or anything. It's the feud that will never end just because. It's the feud that don't know what to do with either guy. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to put Finn Balor in the place where he should be, the Universal title hunt. Yeah. At the very least, the Intercontinental title hunt. I am happy that Ruby Riot's back. Me too. Me too. I miss Ruby Riot. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that's a little wrinkle because otherwise, you know, we just continue to have these two teams go at it um so at least we have a you know somebody else involved now well i stay tuned because i think that's all we're going to have for a while because i'll tell you this none of those women are getting close to ronda rousey mm -mm. no i doubt it nope none of them none of them so it, we better introduce women's tag titles real soon mm -hmm. real soon because otherwise everything's looking really stale in the in the raw women's division. Uh, oh, finally, I do want to ask you, Mike, what the yeah. hell was on Alicia Fox's head? Um, well, Sorg, you see, Alicia Fox is a tenured veteran, all right, and she doesn't have to tell you what's on her head. 
because you know why? She's crazy, and there's nothing easier to write than someone who's crazy. Sounds right. Sounds right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's all a rich tapestry. Mad Mike, what? How much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? Oh, forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. Jeez. No, I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll say an hour fifteen. I'll all say right. an hour. I'm taking off segments that insulted my intelligence. All righty. Um, and uh, I want to go, geez, like I didn't hate anything. It was watchable. I'm going to go two hours watchable. Okay. There was enough for me. All right. I mean, the whole, the whole Heyman thing just soured me. It just soured me. Mm-hmm. I... Like, we could have even done something. Like, I thought Heyman coming out and giving Roman the paper was pretty cool. We could have ended the segment there. Mm -hmm. But we have to have, I don't know, Brock come out and Brock to gone all the way around. So, so is this Brock's last time on Raw? Well, we'll see. All points are leading to that, right? It is. I, th- I think it has to be. Mm-hmm. Well, on that note, uh, let me double check the chat room one last time here. Sorry, I was uh, juggling a couple of messages coming in. But, uh, Vega is little. Alex Moore says Alicia Fox is trying to be Poison Ivy from Batman. Oh, I, you know what? I'm surprised that didn't come across. Actually, you know, if she's Poison Ivy and Alexis Harley, I can I, I dig it. Mm-hmm. Harley and Ivy, I dig it. I do, too. I do, too. So on that note, well, thank you, everybody, that's joining us here in the chat room. Again, we had a few of you guys hanging out with us, and we really do appreciate it. Even though some of you are posting Funko Pops that have nothing to do with wrestling in the Wrestling Mayhem Show group. Tina. Hey, you know what? You know what? I'm okay with that, sword because she knows, she knows that's a place in my heart. You know, I was just talking to somebody about like posting you know, like promotional things in there with context and making sure like you know you're actually engaging with the group and staying on topic. And I'm like, you know what? But I'm going to leave that in there because it does kind of belong there, actually. Uh, so thank you, everybody, that's joined us here in the chat room. I would say more of your names, but for some reason I can't get back to the video on my phone. Uh, oh wait, wait, here you are there. Yep, there you are. So thank you, Alex Miller. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Michelle, that popped in there. Thank you, Blake, uh, Dave, and the rest that have been popping in through the night here. Uh, Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitters. Yes, and you can find me when I live tweet Lucha Underground, amongst many other things. Go to Ad Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM. There you go. Check out over on Wrestling Mayhem Show and IndieWrestling.us. We have some Indie Mayhem shows. Derek Direction and Dr. Dan Rockingham uh, were our guests for Indie Mayhem Show last week. This week, we're going to have MT Osha, and we're recording this Friday with the Iceman Tony Johnson of Ring of Honor of Black Diamond. Lots of wrestling going up on the YouTubes from Black Diamond. It's clips from uh, this past weekend's IWC Cage Fury show, which is rendering right now and should be up sometime Tuesday. Mike, there was fire. I was inside the cage filming. Uh, there was like three points of the show where there was fire, okay? Um, two cage matches, chairs, kendos, Canadians winning belts, Chess Flexor winning a belt, his first singles uh, about, uh, belt in IWC. A lot of great stuff for friends of the shows this weekend. Sorg, it sounds like that show was lit. Oh, look out for that. IndieWrestling.us. And, of course, Mayhem Underground, myself and Mike talking Lucha Underground. The Wrestling Mayhem show is Tuesday right here on Facebook Live. Um, and uh, that will be 9 p.m. Eastern on the Wrestling Mayhem show Facebook Live where we will have the Beast Man joining us who goes to Walmart in his ring gear. So it'll be good to have him back on the show. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, chat room. Until next time, I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Keep it raw.